everyone, welcome to HGTV, where you can maybe find updates on application dates. Nothing about rates. But a whole lot of waits. The news starts right now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. I'm Liz. No, I'm Liz. For lunch today on lines one and two, we'll be having chicken fajitas and hot dogs, line three, grilled cheese, line four, buffalo and Asian bites, and miscellaneous pizza, and line five is closed. And a happy birthday goes out to Jeanette Aguilera, Eric Alanis, Jordan Anderson, Avery Drew, and Daisy Santos. And now to sports with Nick. Thanks, Nolan. And sports action from yesterday. The varsity softball team competed in the first round of sectionals against North Montgomery, scoring a whopping 13 runs in the third inning. The Hot Dogs defeated Northmont by a score of 20 to 5. Sidney Whitaker led the Dogs offensively, going 3 for 4 at the plate, followed by Chloe Roberts, who went 2 for 3. Avery Drew picked up the win for the Dogs, pitching two innings, allowing five runs on five hits, and striking out two. Michaela Harper then came in pitching three innings, allowing zero runs on one hit, and striking out eight. The team will be hosting Tri-West tonight at 5.30, so make sure to go out and support them as they advance past the second round of the sectional. Adding on to the huge win, due to the sectional scheduling, senior softball players were not able to attend Senior Honors Night. So the administrators at Frankfurt High School took the honors night to them, presenting the seniors with all the awards, trophies, and scholarships that they were awarded. There will be a call-out meeting today in the hospitality room, 305 at 2.50 p.m. for those interested in playing basketball next year. Summer schedule plans will be discussed at the meeting. There will also be a wrestling call-out meeting right after school in the hot dog studio for anyone that is interested in joining the wrestling team next year. Last but certainly not least, a good luck goes out to Nayeli Alanis and Alyssa Ramey as they'll be participating in the regional track meet tonight at 5.30, as well as the boys varsity golf team who will be traveling to Northwestern High School, teeing off at 4.30. That wraps up the sports for today. Liz, over to you. The Frankfurt Future Leaders Advisory Council applications are due to student services on Thursday. Don't turn them in late. Gotcha is a girls-only week-long camp where you can experience working on cars, constructing things from wood, learning about home electrical wiring, and welding metal. The camp is June 24th to the 28th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. with lunch provided. Online registration is available now. Just check out one of the flyers posted around the school for more information. If you have any questions beyond the information provided, see Mr. Blunt, Mr. Munier, or Mr. Smith. And now, let's learn how to correctly turn in your laptop and power cord. When you are first about to turn in your laptop, make sure to save any documents or files that you want to keep on your laptop to an external device like a flash drive so you can keep them. Because once you turn in the laptops, they're gone. Now, when you are on your way to turn in your laptop, to maximize efficiency and speed the process up, make sure to first disconnect the charger from itself, keep the brick at hand's length away, and begin wrapping the cord around your hand. Once the cord is wrapped around your hand, you can velcro the cord together. And boom, you're just in time to turn in your laptop and charger. Last call for any artwork left in Mr. Clark's room. Pick it up by the end of the school year or be prepared to see it go up in flames at homecoming or more likely just to see it go in the trash can. Regardless, pick them up if you want them. Congratulations to all the seniors who were honored at senior night last night. It was a long evening, but a fun one. Considering over $2 million were given in scholarship money last night, a Frankfurt hot dog record for senior honors night, I would say it was a great success. Well, that's it for today. And seniors, good luck with finals. Thanks. I'm going to need it for calc. Those finals are tough. <laughs> oh, my God.